in this interview, I interview Shiloh, and she tells us her passion for dancing, how workshops are useful to help you improve as a dancer, and tips for dating in the dancing scene. Hello, my name is Edwin, and I'm the coordinator for the IE Social, taking place every third Saturday of the month in Redlands at the Dance Center. I'm here with Shiloh of yeah. Urban Flow, director and co-coordinator of Zuchata Uprising. What, what? Hi. How's it going today? It's good, how are you? Good, good. All right, tell us how you got started dancing. Oh, good question. Um, I started dancing when I was very young, uh, but it was of course like every other girl dancing around the house like a crazy little person. Mm -hmm. And then um, I took ballet and gymnastics as a child, and then uh, when I got older, I was taking folklorico when I was in elementary school. Yeah, with the yeah. big dresses yeah. and everything. We all got started. <laughs> And then I started getting interested in hip hop, mm -hmm. and I did some hip hop dances and learned how to moonwalk. All right. Um, I took a lot of uh, ballroom. I was competing for a while in ballroom. Really cool. And that kind of covers a vast genre of mm -hmm. different type of dances. Mm -hmm. And then I've also done contemporary. Uh, ballet on its own again, jazz, wow. modern, advanced, modern. Like I, I've I've touched into everything. Wow. I've even like t taught myself some belly dancing stuff. Again, really cool. everything I've taken, I put into like the dancing that I'm doing now. Tell us why workshops are so important for dancers so that they can grow. I feel that when you go take workshops, you really can find the information that you need more in depth than just watching on like a YouTube video. You can ask the questions on all the different techniques that you need or how it works. Because it's easy to see a move and be like, oh, I think I got this and try to implement it. Yeah. But without having a workshop where you go over all the information that's necessary, it's hard to actually know if you're doing it correctly and comfortably, which is something that we like, like John and myself, like to really focus mm -hmm. on the technique and the comfortability of yeah. a move. Okay. Um, tell me about your passion for fusing zouk and bachata, because I would consider you and John the the like the missing link between zouk and bachata, and that's a compliment, and I really appreciate <laughs> that about you guys. Um, but tell tell me about that passion. Okay. So um, with Zouk, there's a lot of foundation in it that involves ballet technique. Oh, wow. okay. So uh, with that, the fusion into bachata, there's a lot of connection basis and the technique that you need to focus on, on all, of, again, like I said, the moves that we do. So even just like a simple body roll, yeah. we go over how like you want to place the hand, where you want to place it, and rather than just like pulling a girl into you, like you invite her. And in Zouk there's a lot of invitations to do a movement. And so with the fusion of the two, you have like a really comfortable, open mm -hmm. ability to move around in the body on the mm -hmm. top half. And yeah. then the bottom half, we have our nice bachata movement going really on cool. continually. Yeah. It just flows kind of like, you know, urban flow. Yeah. Or, oh, like <laughs> urban flow. All right. Hashtag urban flow. Hashtag urban flow. Um, I think you make a great point about how gentlemen or leaders should invite people into certain dance moves and not just force them into it. For, for gentlemen or leaders, please invite your ladies to do certain moves. Don't just be, you know, don't toss us around. Don't toss us we around. We can take it, but we don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So Shiloh, should people in the dance scene, dance community, should they date within the dance community? And if so, why or why not? Oh God, no. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Right. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I yeah. think it's all up to individual. Okay. So if you feel that you're comfortable dating in the dance scene, go mm -hmm. for it. If it's something that you find too complicated, then obviously don't stress over it. Just let it go. Date whoever you want. Um, I personally think it's fine to date within the dance community as long <laughs> as both parties are very open because, again, we all understand this community, bachata, it's very sensual, mm -hmm. and um, there's always like a misunderstanding sometimes, like, oh, why are you dancing so close to this person, wow. whatever, there's um, different aspects, and just like boundaries. Yeah. Every relationship, there's boundaries, Yep. and Bound dance is a relationship, wow. and then you have a relationship within dance, you want to continue the boundaries. Yeah. So you just want to be respectful of each other, and the same thing goes with no matter whether you're dating someone who goes out dancing with you or not, but I like being able to, I personally think that dance, da, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that dating within the dance scene is okay because then the person that you're dating understands yeah. what you're doing and your yeah. passion, hopefully yeah. understands yeah. your passion because people like us who are so passionate about dance and are with somebody possibly who doesn't quite get why we go out for yeah. crazy hours on end, yeah. dancing nonstop, like, why go do that? Yeah. It's a little hard. Yeah. And be like, well, this is something that makes me truly happy. I've heard the saying before, a couple who dances together stays together. <laughs> but we're gonna go to the lightning round, okay? So we got some quick questions coming up for you, Shiloh. Three, two, one. First thing that comes okay. to mind, okay? Lightning. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs? Oh yeah, I'm allergic to cats. Oh. They're funny Uh huh. and hilarious to watch those videos, mm -hmm. also because I'm allergic and don't like them, so of course, like, ha 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 ha, that's okay. funny, but I don't want to be near them. Okay. <laughs> How about a book every dancer should read? Oh my god, there's a book I'm reading right now and I love it, it's okay. called The Anatomy of Dance. Okay, The Anatomy of Dance. How about a movie every dancer should watch? Oh my gosh, why are you asking me this one? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so many. Yeah. Um, First one that comes to mind. Oh my gosh. Don't say dirty dancing. No, <laughs> oh, now that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, a lot of the step up movies are coming into my head because, like, the musicality is super fun in those movies, especially. Um, there was a really artsy one not too long ago. Okay. It's not the most recent one, I think, but it's pretty recent. Okay. So I'm gonna throw a little curve by you here. If you had to give up your sense of taste or dancing, which one would you give up? Taste. Taste, okay, that was real quick. She's really serious about this dancing. What's the last thing you grabbed out of the fridge? Um. I'm a dancer, uh -huh. so I'm like never home You're to never eat, home to eat. Okay. so it's probably leftovers. Okay. Um. Tell us the most memorable place or your favorite place in the world to dance. Oh, favorite place in the world to dance? Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, I forgot the exact location I was at, but ask Astroval because he can tell you because okay. it was at this uh, big... Uh, Mount, his mountain retreat. All right. And I was dancing on top of a bench with John in the mountains over this huge view, very and it cool. was breathtaking. Very, very cool. All we right. We have that video too. I've been to his nice. retreat, and it's amazing. Like they're really, really fun too. What's the last song you heard while you were taking a shower? I was taking a shower. Yeah. I don't listen to music in the shower no, today. Okay. That's kind of depressing. That sounds. It's like probably a, a bachata. Okay. Honestly, it was probably All a bachata. Right, cool. Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat? Tell me the order. Facebook? Mm. Snapchat, then Instagram. Okay. <laughs> if you only had to have, if you were only able to have one, which one would you choose? Okay. I would probably keep Facebook though. Okay, you'd keep Facebook. Okay, well that does it for the <laughs> lightning round. Thank you for participating in that. Made it. Well, Congratulations to you and John for your anniversary, second year anniversary Thank with you. Zuchata Uprising. Why do you believe it's been so successful? Uh, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, 
Um, honestly, the event itself makes it successful. Um, because of all you people who keep coming to our event, uh, because of just the energy that they all come with, the music that we play, we have the two rooms for Zook and Bachata, so we're trying to always like be welcoming to both sides of the community of really Zook cool. And then just, again, it's the energy of everybody. That's what makes it. That's why people keep coming. Like Whether or not we put it out there, mm -hmm. We know people are going to want to come because yes. it's just it's just fun and it's like a family yeah. and we're all always ready to have a good time at one time of the month. Nice, nice. Uh, tell us about upcoming projects. What what do you got coming up in the near future? Um, more and more dancing. More and more <laughs> dancing. All right. Uh huh. Um, let's see. I I personally am trying to work on something for myself. Okay which will eventually include other ladies. Oh, wow. A ladies team? Is this being announced here right now? I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, not. Um, That's no, still okay. something I'm All considering. Right. Okay. But thinking about it. Okay. And then um, John and I, of course, are always working on some of our own things. Yeah. And then we also, uh, in um, March, we're going to have some more for our training team okay. auditions coming up as well. Okay. So, Urban Flow um, training team auditions coming up in March. Okay, cool. Cool. We'll make sure to put the event page for that up too in the bottom and below if you guys are interested in that. So, how can people connect with you? Where's the best place if they want to reach out to you, find out about your events, find out about um, your upcoming auditions? How can they best connect with you? Uh, I would say Facebook. Okay, Facebook is best. All right, cool. Facebook is best because you can hit up my page, you can message me per personally, and then we can exchange numbers, and then we can annoy the crap out of each other about all the information we want to get. Yeah. So yeah, I would awesome. definitely say Facebook is the best and the fastest to get a hold of me. Awesome. Besides directly, just like my phone number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for Shiloh for being here. Please check out their event, Uchata Uprising, taking place every first Saturday of the month. Connect with John, connect with Shiloh. Also check out the upcoming IE Social, February the 18th. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. Like this video, like. share it. Hope you enjoyed the interview. <laughs> share it and um, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.